I don't know about you, but when I was growing up, salad was the last meal that I would want to have or perhaps the last meal that I would order off of a menu because salads were boring. But now that I'm older, I don't think that's the case, or at least salads do not have to be boring. Today we are doing a lovely aromatic lamb loin fillet with a beautiful squash salad. And on that note, let's get cooking. So first up, I'm going to start by making a nice marinade for that lamb loin that I have here. And for that, I'll be using lemon juice, a bit of lemon zest, two cloves of garlic, which I'll be just crushing and then I'll be chopping up some of that dill and the rosemary that I have here and then lastly I'll be seasoning and adding a nice glug of olive oil to the mix and then I'll get it all over that lamb and set it aside to marinate. So I'm just going to get some olive oil directly onto the loin of lamb as well on both sides and then I'll be seasoning this too and I'll be getting that mix onto it and just rub it all over as well. So now that I'm done marinating the loin of lamb here, I just set it aside for it to soak up all the goodness, all the flavors from that garlic and the herbs that I've used as well as the seasoning. And then we'll just move on to the salad part. So we'll start using some of that butternut squash as well as three medium sized sweet potatoes that I've got here. We we'll just cut them, get them onto an oven tray. We then put it into the oven, which is preheated at around 200 degrees celsius and we just roast it off for about 25 minutes to half an hour until it goes tender and nice In fact, butternut squash is a wonderful, wonderful vegetable because it is very low in saturated fat, also very low in calories and it's really good for your hair and your nails as well. So I'm just going to peel these sweet potatoes as well and I'll just roughly cut these and get them on to the tray too. So I'm now just going to season with salt, pepper and also some dried oregano and then I'll just get a nice glug of olive oil in there and just get it into the oven. Just 
give your tray a little shake to sort of separate these out a little bit. And perhaps one sprig of that rosemary and in we go in the oven with the vegetables. So as I'll be serving that loin of lamb with the squash salad on a bed of lentils, I'm just going to start preparing the lentils now and the choice here for lentils is poi lentils. And the reason for that is because they don't go mushy once you cook them, they sort of hold their shape and they stay firm. So that's the choice of lentils you want to go for for this salad, which is ideal. So I just simply get the lentils in a pan, add some cold water to it, then turn on the heat, bring it to boil and then just simmer it down quite gently until they just go um, soft and tender. And you can just add some seasoning to this, which is just some basic seasoning, some salt and some pepper, and that should really do the trick for the lentils. So it has now been about 20 minutes into roasting the squash salad. I'm just going to start searing that loin of lamb. So my pan is now really nice and hot. I'm just going to get some of this olive oil onto the pan and I'll start getting that meat onto it as well. And I'll just go the fatty side in first and start rendering some of the fat that's already on the meat and start searing it on each side for about five minutes. So the lamb is now ready, the lentils are ready and the vegetables are ready. I'm just going to let that lamb rest for about five minutes before I cut into it and I'll then start plating it all up. So here we have it, here's a pan seared loin of lamb served on a bed of poi lentils and a butternut squash salad. It is a colourful dish, really flavoursome and of course really healthy and quick to prepare. So if you like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure you do so as it would really encourage me to put more contents like this out there and of course it would really help the channel grow as well so i'll see you in the next one until then look after yourselves and i'm just gonna get busy tucking into this yeah.